From Southwest Florida, you're watching Fox 4 News at 6. Florida deserves better. That's why Congressman Charlie Chris says he's running for governor again next year. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. The Democrat faces a divided party and popular incumbent, not to mention he's lost his last two statewide races. So is he the right person to take the reins in 2022? Our Capitol reporter for Saunders spoke with Chris recently to find out. With redistricting on the way, some have speculated Chris is running for governor to avoid losing in a redder congressional district. He says it's for a different reason. Well, good morning. Charlie Crist has almost done it all in the Sunshine State. State Senator, Ed Commissioner, Attorney General, and yes, the governor. Thank you so much. So what's making this 13th district congressman want Tallahassee's top spot again? He says it's DeSantis. The more I've seen from this governor and the legislature, what they're doing to the people of Florida, how they're suppressing their vote, among other things, enough's enough. We caught up with Chris during his first listening tour across the state focused on voting. It's good to be honest. It's good to have transparency. There, he acknowledged unseating the governor won't be easy. DeSantis has raised millions during his two years in office, and he's popular, polling better than opponents. How do you chisel away at that? Exactly what we're doing right now. Talk to people, look them in the eye, be honest with them. You know, don't just go on Fox News as the governor does. Chris lost his last two statewide races, one for governor and one for Senate. But the former Republican, now Democrat, sees a path forward in Florida's growing population. Meanwhile, his opponents label him over the hill and an opportunist. You know, I suppose he's making an announcement today. DeSantis has launched salvos from day one. Which party is he going to run under? Do we know for sure? How do you get somebody who's on the fence? How do you get them to trust you? Just tell them what you believe and what's in your heart. We need to have a state where people respect one another. And it doesn't matter what party you are. What matters is where your heart is. But party will likely matter to Democrats. After a bruising 2020, they'll need to unite behind Chris if he wants a serious shot at DeSantis. That means beating Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed, currently the only other high-profile challenger. She's a fine person. Can you elaborate on that? No. <laughs> Chris declining to draw a sword against Freed during our interview, saying it is possible to have a clean primary. Each of us just run our race. Tell the people what's on your mind. You know, tell the people what you'd like to do and what you see for the future of Florida and let the people decide. It's not complicated. What will be complicated, Florida's late primary next year, August 23rd. Whoever wins will then have a short window to face the governor head on in November. And that's likely why Christ is getting a head start. Now, Chris, former running mate, State Senator Annette Tadeo, says she's also mulling a run for governor. Pundits think that she might be able to capture the Hispanic vote in the state. She is yet to officially announce any intention. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.